This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, what is the sum of 4x to the third minus 2x plus 8, 2x squared plus 5x, and x to the third plus 2x squared minus 3x minus 3? In other words, we're going to find the sum of these three polynomials. This is one polynomial, this is another polynomial, and this is our third polynomial. So let's go ahead and do that. And let me go ahead and write this as clearly as I can. We have 4x to the third minus 2x plus 8 plus 2x squared plus 5x plus x to the third plus 2x squared minus 3x minus 3. All right, so we just added our three polynomials together. Now we're going to look through this very long expression and combine like terms. And we're going to start with the term that has the highest power. So the highest power is x to the third. Its corresponding like term is going to have the letter variable x raised to the third, third power. We can see that that is right there. And if it's helpful, you could put a 1 in front of that. This is 1x to the third plus 4x to the third, which is going to be 5x to the third. Now that we've combined those like terms, we can go ahead and cross them out. Again, we're adding these terms based on their powers, and the next highest power is going to be squared. All right, so here's 2x squared. Its corresponding like term is right here. It's 2x squared. 2x squared plus 2x squared is going to be 4x squared. Now that we've combined those like terms, let's cross them out. All right, so the next terms we're going to be adding are going to be x to the first power. So we have negative 2x. 5x and negative 3x. Uh, negative 2x plus 5x is going to be 3x. So I added those two. Let's cross them out. And now we have 3x minus 3x. 3x minus 3x is 0. So these just go away. And then finally, we have our whole numbers. 8 minus 3 is 5. So when we add these three polynomials together, our result is 5x to the third plus 4x squared plus 5 which is answer choice A, of course.